Today on review, we are looking at Realms of the Mad Gods, which you can get this over on Steam for free, since this is a free to play MMO that is pretty much drawn back to 16 bit era of RPG, with it, of course, being a 2D pixel art dual stick shooter RPG. The gameplay outside of that is mainly made up of Every time you start a new account, you will be given one character slot, which is a mage. And you start off in a city after a little tutorial, where you pick what part of the dimension, I guess you could say, you want to go to. And each dimension is broken up into this and teleportal on the main map in the main town. And you go into this, and your only real objective is a court survive. You go through fighting monster, which in return will drop materials and let you gain level for your character. And a couple mini bosses will pop up on your radar as you go through, and all you pretty much get is just billions and items. Since as soon as you die, your character is locked forever, and in return you have to make a new character next time you start. But all you keep is a court, your fame, and some money, which the money you can also buy using real money for your character, which will unlock more character slots, and pretty much give you more options quicker. Because of how this end up working, since you lose your character every time you die, it mainly made up a whole bunch of mini goals, like survive for an hour, survive to level 10, kill, you know, a couple hundred monsters, and every time you complete the goal, you will be get out of fame, and of course you will unlock more character to use as you start over and over and over again. So this is a slow, repetitive process without you just want to spend the money for it. But the money, it can be a little pricey here and there, including pets as a penguin, costing up to $20 just for a pixel art penguin to follow you around. But the game overall doesn't really have any focus, it's not the funnest thing ever, and can get really repetitive if you just don't like running around shooting things till you die. So overall, Wham of the Mad Gods is not really for everyone and for many probably should try to avoid a free to play MMO. But if you're interested, it's free so you can court get this on Steam, so more power to you. But overall, I give the Realm of the Mad God a 1 out of 5.